Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and what I'm featuring today in this video, now filmed this on the 20th of November, but probably won't put it out for another three or four days as I've got other videos to post. Um, I came out this morning, it's a Sunday morning and the weather's actually quite nice, and I found all three of the fruits of my pineapple guava variety unique um, had fallen off the plant today um, so that's the 20th of November for an interesting reference and obviously what I wanted to show is you can see even on the same plant you get quite a variation in shape um, the size isn't so relevant because obviously it's a young plant and these are sort of the first three what I call edible size fruits it's produced so <clears throat> they're obviously going to vary in size because of the uh, immaturity of the plant and uh, it's probably put most of the energy into this fruit but the interest is also the variation in shape because this fruit's fairly it's a little bit more cylindrical and I'd call this fruit more of a, a teardrop shape fruit but I thought it'd be interesting to see them because I haven't really covered the variety unique I think I had one tiny one that I tasted a month or so back that was um, probably no more than it wasn't even an inch in width probably three quarters of an inch but it was actually quite sweet and juicy which is why I thought it'd be interesting to do these ones now I've not left them to ripen indoors and the weather's cold so it's quite possible this feels very firm the fruit it may be well below ripeness but I've decided as it's the only day I'm going to have to make any videos at all I thought I'd film it today and just put it out in a few days time so I'm going to flip the camera around and we'll cut them open and have a look inside so I'll, so I'll be back with you in a second so here's part two of the video and this as I said is the variety unique um, different shaped fruits but they are of the same plant that could be to do the immaturity of the plant might be to do with the pollen perhaps the fruit was pollinated with um, I don't know what the more true shape of the fruit should be, but I thought we'd cut them in half and have a look anyway. So we'll take the larger one first. Looks like quite a nice fruit inside, to be honest. Now, when I did, I think I did a tasting of a very small, immature fruit that was actually very sweet, and it had what appears to be the same with the case of this. The unique seems here to have a much thinner skin and the white flesh seems to go nearer to the outside so it tends to be i've thought from what i tried before less bitter on the outside of the fruit so this is probably one it's quite smooth the skin as well as thin i think this is a pineapple guava where you could easily eat the skin as well so i'm going to cut a slice off first then i'll take some with a spoon first it's um reasonably ripe in the middle i wouldn't say it's uh, perfect Now that one has a very lemony taste to it. It's a mild flavour, not strong. Let's see if we can eat the skin on this one. Definitely less bitter than on some of the other pineapple guava skins. It has an unusual taste to it. I think if you cut a slice of the fruit, it would possibly um, change the flavour of the fruit a little bit. We'll just do a juice test on this, see what the bricks is like on this particular one. Fairly juicy. <coughs> yes, um, that's around a 14. That's slightly less than the tiny fruit I had, which I think was much more ripe a month ago. 14, not a bad sugar content at all, to be honest. Quite pleased with that. I think anything from 14 or 15 a half from a pineapple guava is quite a good sugar content. I'll take a slice of this one, rather than eating a cucumber. Mmm, that works quite well with the... Um, and this one definitely looks under-ripe inside. This is the sausage shape one looks way below par i suspect because it's a young plant that's never really developed properly definitely a little bit more acidic and tart not as sweet as the larger fruit 
again, I've come to the conclusion that the more, the larger the jelly and the white fleshed, pale flesh section of the fruit is on pineapple guavas, the better the fruit. So therefore, it tends to follow that the larger the fruit is, the more jelly and softer flesh it's gonna have in the middle. And therefore, for me, my personal taste, the better the fruit will be. Now, if you prefer um, like a tart, sweet, regular guava, or the more tart kumquats, for example, it may well be that this fruit won't suit you and might not suit you as well as the sweeter pineapple guavas but um, certainly the flavour's growing on me a lot and there is some variation definitely depending on the size of the fruit and the size of the plant so uh, that was a variety unique for people who are following the different varieties and are interested to know. Um, again, it's an immature plant, they're not fully developed fruit, so it may well be the quality and, uh, and flavour and, uh, and sugar content and will vary as you get, as hopefully get larger plants in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up, you can share it. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and remember to click on the bell if you like updates on new videos as they come out. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.